Hey everybody, Paul Bragan with WIAH, Evansville's Catholic radio station. Today is the Feast of St. Joseph. Celebrate accordingly. If you can get your hands on some Italian Zeppeli, go ahead and do so. We are in a very special location. We are in the St. Joseph's Attic here at the House of Discernment, and a very special guest is going to be showing me around. He did ask to remain off camera, so you're going to have to just guess and see if you can figure out who it is. But let's take a look around, see uh, see what we got going on here. So we got a sitting area over this way. Sitting area, okay. Mary, let's. Spouse of Joseph. Oh, that is a very. Let's see if we can get a shot of this picture. And I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say this is probably the most Catholic house in the diocese because as I was outside, I noticed in the backyard there are two statues of the Virgin Mary in the backyard of this house. We got a picture of Mary over here. The bed areas. Are bed areas. We have. Sleeps eight people. Eight people can sleep here. This is a very nice statue of St. Joseph holding the child Jesus. Let's see if we can get a shot of the Yeah. St. Patrick and Corning when it closed. We got the statue. Oh, okay. Corning, Indiana? Or is it? Oh, I mean, it's a shame that a church closed, but it's yeah. very nice that we got this here, isn't it? Bar. Nice. With another picture of St. Joseph holding the child Jesus. So Jesus is a little bit older in that one. Chess set. Kind of nice. And okay, okay, what's this picture? Is this guy's just hanging out so in the that's, attic? Is it so, that, so the sitting area uh -huh. that they had? Um, that's looking out the window over there. Okay, some of the Savio guys that helped renovate the attic. Okay, the renovations. And again, we're we're keeping him off camera. But tell us about Savio for anybody who doesn't know and might be interested. Well, I can be on camera. It's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey, Father Tyler. Um, so Savio is for teenage guys. It's a faith formation program we started uh, in the fall of 2018 to help guys kind of come together from various parishes. It also helps them discern whether they should be priests or not. Um, anyway, so they, they come around the house for different things that we do here, faith formation, prayer, uh, fraternity, that kind of stuff. But they also helped us renovate this space. Uh, and that was some of them in the picture here. Um, a couple of our guys from Hobstadt, east side of Evansville. Uh, anyways, um, so they helped us renovate this attic with a bunch of other dads from the uh, from the area. And he is wearing a Savio shirt yeah, to help Savio promote it. Yep. On. Yeah, so we got a bathroom, bathroom here. Room. Sure yeah, no statues in there that I can see. <laughs> Poker table. Nice. Uh, more beds. Awesome. Uh, we've had two discernment retreats so far. Oh, cool. Let's... The guys have done the okay, so uh, do you have any more discernment retreats coming up that people might be interested in? Uh, not this spring. Okay. But, uh, but yeah, we'll be doing them, so. Cool. Yeah. And then we got another... Okay, what's... We got like a little uh, board here with a bunch of pictures on it. Is this the That's before? The mm -hmm. Okay, so this is before everything was done here in the attic. So you can see, I mean, this is, this looks like it would be a fun place to hang out. <laughs> it's like, cool. We've got chess, we've got poker, yeah. we've got beds. A lot of, th this could be a very contemplative area. And I don't know if you saw this, they've got the very nice crucifix over here. So a lot of Catholic imagery in this one little space. I would, I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, I feel like you could say a very well done mass here. Just throwing that out there. I don't know if you got to get yeah, bishop's so, approval, so, yeah, so we, we, anything like that. So we've got a chapel in our house, but we sure. use this for our retreat space. So sure. We're staying with us and enjoy it. Yeah. yeah. And then we've got uh, we got some more pictures down here that are really nice looking. Are these all St. Joseph? They are. So, those are the statues of St. Joseph from the parishes that have had a guy live here. Okay. Oh, neat. So we got Holy Cross in Fort Branch. Resurrection in Evansville, St. James in Hobstadt, Good Shepherd in Evansville, and then over on this side, we have St. Mary's in Ireland, St. Isidore the Farmer in Celestine, Holy Redeemer in Evansville, Corpus Christi in Evansville, and oh, St. Therese in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we had a guy from Indianapolis here. Yeah. And then here's another statue of St. Joseph, yeah. And this is the picture of the church in Bethlehem where Joseph took his family. Oh, wow. The census, right? So this is the church built over. That's the door you actually enter. Oh, here. wow. Um, that's the church built over the site of the manger scene. Awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, this has been our tour of the St. Joseph Attic here at the House of Discernment. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. A uh, couple final notes. Again, it's the Feast of St. Joseph. Celebrate accordingly. I just brought some treats over to the guys at the House of Discernment. Uh, on a personal note, if you haven't taken a priest out to dinner for a while, do it. Uh, they need to eat like the rest of us. Uh, also, if you're a young adult, there is a party tonight at St. John the Evangelist in Daylight. It's a St. Joseph party. They're calling it the Chip Off the Old Block Party. And so bring your favorite chips and dip. 
And as for anybody 18 to 35, they'd love to see you there. Again, have a happy Feast of St. Joseph. I'm Paul Bregan with WIAH.